Hey good looking and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be picking out some makeup from my makeup studio and shopping my stash, getting some good use out of the makeup I already own. So also I will be showcasing again my Build Your Own palette that I have kind of selected for this month. And I'm getting ready to start my Build Your palette for next month just because it's my favorite color, greens. So um, make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put out content around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes, and sunscreens. And we're getting into some really cool stuff this year. So make sure that you're subscribed for it. Let's get started shopping my stash. Take a look. Okay, so here we go. I am, uh, I guess I gotta, gotta reorganize, but here's the bin that I'm gonna be doing my shot my stash with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my stuff, my extraneous stuff pulled out um, from area. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Um, <laughs> some unmentionables so all of this extraneous stuff that I'm gonna pull out from you know the woodworks basically is all gonna be put into these bins and then I will do like a shot my stash so this is going to be extremely all over the place it's it's gonna be really interesting the first couple of rounds um, I've never really done this and I keep my makeup in about four different vanities total <laughs> so I kind of got the, I got to get some stuff organized. So uh, that that's, this is part of my life though. You know, this is how it goes. So my shot, my stash, my little capsule bin is going to be this. And I'm going to get started and get this organized into some other um, bins of makeup. Pretty sure I could uh, make a shot, my stash out of literally just the extraneous makeup that I've pulled out from like odds and ends of places in my collection. Okay, so this is everything pulled from out of the closet that hasn't been stored properly. And on the, why am I so out of breath? The filming table. All of these have been emptied, so I'm going to start getting rid of some of these things that are just, they're nice to store things in for a small amount of time, but just definitely not um, something that I want to keep a lot around. Okay, let's get started. Is there a primer that I wanna use? I think I put everything in here. I've seen some people use this as a primer. I don't really like it. I use it in the summertime. I really like it. Here's the primer that I have. I use it for the summer, it's really good. It's kind of like, a, reminds me of a silicone primer, like a mattifying silicone primer. This right here is the Milani Prime and Protect that I was talking about in my previous video where it is very finicky depending on the type of foundation that you use. Uh, I, I do want to use it though. It's it's We're getting close to using it up. This is what I currently use right now as my sunscreen, but I feel like I can use um, this and then I could maybe put the primer on top. I just put this on my filming studio table, so here's our primer. Um, then the next step in my routine would be foundation. So let's go over here to the foundation and the concealer. <clears throat> this is my uh, CoverGirl one. I'm getting pretty close to using it up, so I want to use that. And I want to use my CYO. This is in, it used to be right there, but I think it's shade 104. Yeah, and I really want to use that up. It looks like it's the right shade and we're getting really close to using it up so I might be able to use this up in the next month and that would be kind of nice. Here's also the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I don't particularly care for this concealer as much but I do like it. Um, this is the Tartlet. Maybe this could be my blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Um, I'm not sure. I, I want to take a look at some other stuff. Oh, this is broke. This bronzer right here, I don't really like it. I'm going to swatch it real quick. Okay, here's the blo the bronzer, and here it is swatched out. I can't really... It's not really showing it very good. Hmm, I don't really like it. I think I'm just going to chuck it. This is uh, apparently also a declutter. <clears throat> this right here is a brow product, but it has glitter in it. I got it at Sephora. 
It was on sale. I don't think I'm going to use it this round, but um, we have sun protection slash priming. I think I'm going to use my Studio Fix powder, which is in another drawer, so I'll go get that. Let's go move over to that and pick out a powder. Okay, this is where I have some just like extra stuff. And I guess I'll just store my powders in this drawer. But here's the one that I was talking to you about. It's quite yellow, and I have the Naked Here's to Beauty. I don't know where it went though, but I'll use this one. It's fine. And then I maybe will substitute that out if I find it in its place. This is what I'm talking about. I have all this stuff and I put it in like six different places and then I'm like, oh, I want to use this powder and I have no idea where it's at. But it looks exactly like this. It's in the same casing. It's just called Here's to Beauty. This is in the shade Light Plus. It was a more like pink based powder and I like it so much more. But this is going to go in my Shop My Stash. Okay, there we go. So next up, I see in here, at least I thought I did, nope it's in this one here, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, I'll use that. Um, oh here's a powder, I'm kind of on the hunt for that other powder, I think it might be in here. This is. A nice bronzer. It's the Makeup Geek one. I believe it's in the shade Sun Kissed. And I've been using it in the winter time because I'm so pale. So I'll use that. Here's my tried and true Lash Princess Mascara. Here it is. There's my Naked Powder. So I'm going to sub it out. It's got a more of a dent. I'll show it to you. Okay, the bottom one, here's two, and the other one is the MAC. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that is much more pinky toned. The other one's almost a yellow undertone, so I'm going to go with the pink undertone. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a pretty good dip in it already. So, you know, Project Panner in, the, in practice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all these powders since I'm like, oh, I don't have any powders. I really do. I really want a lip oil, but I don't like this Merit one. Maybe I'll put this one upstairs in my bathroom sink and that can just be something that I swipe on, you know, whenever I, I like to, after I use the restroom and wash my hands, put on like a lip balm. And so these will get used up really easily. So I think I might just do that. It's not a very good shade. It's in the shade All Natural. And I just don't care for it on my lips. It doesn't look very good. So for, I already have a concealer. So this can go get put away. Here is my Soul Body Bronzer. Body and Face Bronzer. And it's the only cream bronzer that I think I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So I have cream and powder, and then here, this blush, I haven't really been enjoying all that much. It kind of, it actually, it's because it looks so realistic. It's in the shade Storm, and it really looks realistic for like how rosacea would look on my skin. Um, you can see that I have kind of a cool undertone, so I don't know. It's actually like very, very lifelike. So I kind of want to use it, but I want to use something over the top that can kind of make it look more playful. Ooh, I think maybe my Tarte palette. Yeah, I think I'll just kind of toggle between putting some blushes in here that might be nice. Like Pop Quiz or L-Y-L-A-S, which is Love You Like a Sister. I might do that. Okay. We're getting kind of full now. And so I want to make sure that I really only put products in here that I need. I'm going to put my brow gel. And. Oop, this is. I finished this guy. So I can throw it away. What's this? Oh, this is a. This is a shadow stick that I could use as an eyeshadow primer. 
But you know what? I think I'm going to wait to do that um, for another Shop My Stash. These are some tools that I'll need. And here is my Makeup Geek eyeliner, and it's in a brown. You know what? I've been using this for quite a while. I think I want to switch it up to something a little bit lighter in tone. Okay, I just put the Makeup Geek one back right here. And I'm grabbing out this Physician's Formula one. In the shade Warm Nude Eyes, but you can't see it because it's not focused. There we go. And it's a custom, it's like a shimmer strip one. But I'm feeling kind of fun and flirty and like, this is a little bit lighter in color. There's not really very many other ones that are light in color like that, except for maybe this golden one. Yeah, I think I'm okay with using that this round. Oh, there's some more eye primers back there. Okay, I know I'm just shopping this part of my stash, but I kind of want to move over to another vanity over there that has some more highlighters in it. I want to pick out a Makeup Geek highlighter. Here we are. Oh, look, another foundation. <laughs> let's get these highlighters opened up, and I want to give you guys a couple swatches, and let's pick out something cool. I didn't realize it, but I guess I put these away. Light, medium, and dark. And then there is another one that is deep. I think it's a little bit deeper than Ignite. And it's a duo chrome, and I, th I thought it was called Blaze or something like that. But realistically, maybe only these three, possibly that one. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Now I'm looking for like a soft, subtle highlight. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm really not. So many of these are on sale on Makeup Geek's website right now for $4.99. So if you wanted to pick up any of these, I'm pretty sure it is Sunlight is one. Ignite, and I think it's Starlight, which might be this one right here. Nightlight. I, I'm not exactly sure, but you can go check the Makeup Geek website. There, there are some on sale for $4.99, or at least last time I checked, I think I want this one. But I'm also going to pull in a Natasha Denona palette, so that'll also give me a highlight if I want to kind of toggle back and forth. And this one is in the shade, oop, it's not there, I depotted it at one point. And you can see it right here, and I just stuck the sticker right there, and it's highlighters. Name is Rekindle. So you can take and pop these pans out, they're just kind of glued in there, and if you wanted to take some magnetic strip and put it in there, just trace it using your pan, cut it out, lay it in here, and now you have a Makeup Geek Magnetic Compact. And again, like I said, they're on sale for $4.99 on Makeup Geek's website, so you're basically getting one of these and a free highlighter pan to go with it for the price that you would pay for one of these empty. You will have to supply your own magnetic strip, I guess, so that'll be like a dollar. Okay, let's go ahead and get that one put in our stash. All right, it's getting kind of full, but I do want to add one more. These are empties, and this one's going upstairs. But I do want to add one more face palette, and I think I'm going to add my Natasha Denona face palettes. Okay, see, this is what I'm telling you about. This right here is the only two I can find, and I know I got the third one because I have tan, I have bloom, and then I think I have bronze. This is the only other... Let me see which highlighters I like the best. That's a pretty highlighter, but I feel like it's almost a blush topper. Don't you feel like that's the case? Oops. Yeah, that might be the case. This one, however. Hmm. I think I want to do this one. Yeah, those are kind of pretty. I know it's not very good lighting because I'm like basically blown out by the lighting right now. So it's kind of like weirdly shadowed, but I really want some of these. All right, let's go ahead and add this one to the mix. Since we do have that Tarlet in Bloom, we have several different 
blushes to choose from, I feel like another palette of like bronzy highlights would be ideal. Okay, here's what we've got so far. So let's um, pick out a supporting pa eyeshadow palette for my build your own palette that I'm going to make or that I'm using currently for the month of February. Okay, um, it's actually the one I'm using for January into February and it's my Galentine's Day palette and I'll go ahead and link that video up there or down below, something like that. But anyways, here it is. It's got neutrals and a couple of duos multi-chromes. So I'm okay with having like kind of a fun colored palette where I might have some shadows that are colorful and more playful. So let's go take a look and see what kind of eyeshadow palettes I have. Okay, here we are. I'm going to be doing a 10 part series on these two palettes right here. So I feel like I should probably leave those alone so that when I get started, um, they'll be ready and waiting for me and I don't have to worry about reaching for them in my, you know, kind of monthly shop my stash videos. So I'm going to set those to the side. I do have the sunset palette, which is kind of nice. That would be fun and playful. It's got a, you know, a nice orange, red, yellow. Hmm. Not really sure. That could be in the, uh, that's a runner up. I'm not feeling like playing with any really like blues turquoise teals I'm not in the mood for those maybe I should pull out my love palette since it we are approaching February and then I can have my Galentine's Day palette let me see what they look like next to each other hmm do they look complimentary I feel like they do we're kind of trending into like this peachy shade and then this nice warm beige. That would, that might be nice. And this might be one of the only times that, you know, I ever really use a palette like this. You know, maybe I should just really consider it. This shade right here, transparent, that's really pretty. But I do kind of feel like I have something that looks transparent right here. This is a nice topper shade, but I think I might grab a single shadow topper to go in my shot, my stash. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I feel like this is the one I should take. Let me take a gander at a couple of other palettes and see if I feel as strongly about them. Okay, this is Sunrise. No, but I feel like that's more of a summery palette. I always reach for gold and it's neutral as far as that goes. And here's my Biba, which is also neutral. I feel like overall this is a very neutral palette and the only colors that are playful are greens and blues. And I already stated I didn't really want to play with those too much. Um, maybe. I feel like the Norvina palette. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I feel like I should open this guy back up and yes, I'm feeling this one. This one is definitely a nice addition to the build your own palette that I already had. In fact, I kind of feel like, ooh, hello, you can see me in there. I feel like it already, but maybe it's too similar. Maybe it's so similar, I really should be reaching for something else. I don't know. There's really no duochromes or multi-chromes in this, is there? Oh, these are soft and buttery. Oh, wow. Hmm. I feel like I could really use some of these shadows and they would be very pretty. So I think I am going to use this palette. I haven't dug this out in a long time. Oh, boy. Looky. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those in my shop, my stash, and let's go ahead and get on over to the um, studio and put some of this makeup on my face. Oh wait, I do want to add, I'm going to add this to my um, shop, my stash just for the cream highlight. Um, I've been using this underneath the Natasha Denona highlights and it's been going really good and I'm using it up at a, a slower rate than I thought it would be, but oh. It broke. Did you see that? It completely it is off the hinge. I wonder if I should just let it go at this point and like not really worry about 
trying to fix it. Okay, well, I think after this month, if I, whatever I don't get used up, I'll just go ahead and let go of because um, I've used it up. It took me about six months to a year, but I used it up almost completely. So, you know, I'm happy. Um, I spent $44 on it. I don't, I would never repurchase it though. So, but let's go ahead and put this in the shop, my sash and let's get over to the studio to check it out. How did you like that so far? Yeah. It was all over the place. I know, I know, I know. And I added more to it. I forgot to film me picking out a lip product. So this is what I'm going to be using. In fact, I'm going to use it right now. Oh, it's so beautiful. And hydrating on the lips. Also picked up my MAC um, Feast Your Eyes palette because it has these two shades right in here that can act as topper shades. I also picked up my Jaclyn Hill Icicle Shimmer Top Coat. I don't know if I'll use it or not because I think that I'll have enough for the month of, you know, July and February. So I think we'll be good. Let's go ahead and get some makeup on my face. Um, slapping some super goop on. And I use the three finger rule to get it on my face. Let's see if I did it correctly. Also gonna feature a monthly brush capsule where I will showcase the brushes that I'm gonna be kinda of like rotating through. Um, right now, they're just about as organized as my makeup is, however, so. Yay, I'll just sit it in my lap here, how about that? So I said I was gonna try this this guy right here. I guess I'll go ahead and do that now. Let me just put this up here. My little basket. My little basket of goodies. I'm gonna just use like too small. Maybe I'm using too much. I'm using it too much like, oh, this is really full actually. I don't feel like this is going to be at all. Very quick to be used up. Ooh. The doggie's going to be in here now. Let's prime, while all this sits, let's prime the eyelids and go ahead and get started on the eye look so that you guys, you know, get a little taste of that. Maybe that basket's just a little too deep. Maybe I need something that's a little bit more shallow. This stuff doesn't seem too like mattifying. It seems really creamy almost. Hey, oops. I don't know if setting with the Lorac is the best idea. I think I've used it both ways. I don't think it really matters. Oh, he's napping at my feet. Delium Tools 785 Tapered Blending. Just buff all of this um, naked Here's to Beauty powder on my lids. And get it all set. I think I have a better chance if I set the lid than if I don't. In my um, Valentine's Day look, it doesn't show up that peachy on camera, but it is super, super peachy in person. I don't know what the deal is. I think I need to reset my white balance because it's everything's off just a little bit. It looks a little bit, mm, it actually looks a little warm. And um, that's definitely not what's like, closest to what's in color. I'm just gonna buff in this other little guy here, this transition shade. It's one of the Glam Shop shadows. I can list it. This is why I don't like using Glam Shop because I I have to like figure it out and so I'm so deathly afraid I'm gonna misspell it and then somebody won't be able to find it, but it's one of the matte creamy beiges on Glam Shop's website. I don't really like it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of it and then I think I'm gonna switch over to my Norvina palette and kind of buff and blend in there. Let's see what I come up with. You know what? Actually, let's try some one of these shades right in here. I actually do want to try this shade all over the eyelid. Super pretty. Just like a really bronzy look that looks super I call it like cheating because it looks, I know what looks good on my eyes, coppers, warm browns and that kind of thing. 
so I just don't really like really worry about it I wonder if I should mix it with this color right here hmm let's move over to my Norvina palette see what I got there oh we got some nice colors that I could mix with it like dreamer or dazzling like here's dreamer here's dazzling let's use this one dazzling no, let's use Dreamer because I think Dazzling would be a little bit darker. And they come with their own mirrors. Yes. Which, one thing you should know about me is I almost never remove the mirror cover on top of it. I don't know why. I always have this in the back of my head. What if I end up not liking the palette and I want to declutter it and sell it? It'll look nicer <laughs> when it goes to somebody else. Like, I'm always thinking, like, oh, somebody else might want it. buff and blend with I'm going to start out with the round blender 767 by Delium Tools and just toggling back and forth between the shader brush the 773 in that MAC Tempting Fate I don't know if it's Midnight Stunner or what it is because I know that the shadows don't match what's actually in the pan like the order that's actually in the pan so I'm assuming that's what it is but I'm not 100% sure so this looks really really nice I think let's start let's volatile or should I use passion I feel like passion would look a little better because passion is very close to the Mac tempting fate color over here but it's in a leather shade and um, 783 small tapered blending just to buff a little bit out there. And just kind of like buff and blend that up and around, up and around. This isn't like an up close and personal one today, guys. Sorry. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back so we can do uh, liner and all that good jazz. Up. Got the eye done, by the way. Next up, oops tight line just a little bit of this I'm gonna also put it underneath here and then blend it out with a nice neutral shadow there's there's a lot of neutrality in my life <laughs> so you know that's how it goes I love a good orange look I love a good brownish orange I like a good brown look I like a good taupe look you know not sure if I want to try one of these leathers or not probably not let's just let's just go to the Norvina and um, okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and go into volatile on the bottom since we've got a nice like warmy orange shade I feel comfortable um, buffing a little bit possibly cooler toned shadow so this is volatile never been touched before how sad I've owned this for like three years this is the small angle shader brush by Delium Tools 765 and you guys hopefully will get to see my that's my puppy dog it's my doglet he's he's doing all right but he is making some noise down there he's uh, making some noise for the team just buffing a little um, volatile down there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Curling the lashes. Oh, hello. Hello. Perfect. Still working. I don't know the number of times I've had to scrap something because it didn't work. I didn't have audio. I mean, all right. Lash princess mascara. Um, secret here. Put it in between your, you know, your girls. If you got them. And that helps warm up the formula and it just glides on just effortlessly it's so much better any mascara will pretty much be a lot better makeup is so transformative and it yet it's so revealing of our I don't know if it's mood or emotions or feelings but you know it just our makeup I feel like just tells a story maybe this is enough I don't know I kind of feel like maybe it's enough which hasn't really been a feeling for me for a long time with makeup it's always like oh I should get this I should get that and I am at a such a better place now that I am not buying makeup like constantly I knew it wasn't who I was so let's talk about this 
video and why I'm doing a shop my stash because I want you to shop your stash as well and leave a comment down below and leave me what you put in your basket your capsule basket and let me know I really do I really do want to know like who in my community is doing what where and what you know what's your favorite sunscreen what foundation are you currently using who are you going out with in that mascara <laughs> tell me yeah, I think today is going to be a day I'm not gonna put any lashes on and it hasn't really felt like I always felt like I needed to do that before that is so incredibly nice um shadow topper let's use okay so there's this one and this one I like the pink one but I think I do want to use kind of the more neutral goldeny one which is this one as I blind you they do have a little bit of pigment to them see that they do have a little bit of pigment to them but with that they are very um, sparkly and they do give a lot of dimension like you can see this is very like almost satiny metallic and this looks to me like a very textured look there's quite a bit going on that really helps to look out I think I've got some final words to say about this Mervina palette which I should have said about three years ago when I should have been using it and just buff and blend this up all right so just kind of pulling a little bit of that sparkle in the way of that orange shade but really really like that look at this this is like that's how much sunlight is coming in all right so let's do some face products okay CYO life proof I believe it's the shade 104 if it's not you can't get it anymore you can't so let's just see oh oh wow delium tools precision kabuki see that it is a bit light but I'm I've got the deeper bronzer um, with my Makeup Geek bronzer and highlighter and I think that'll be just fine. I don't think we'll have any problems. Ooh, I love, love, love. This is like a gray undertone. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had this problem where you do have redness. So people mistake you as a cool undertone but it's really because you have like a silvery gray undertone. And then I never know if it's because I should be like color correcting, but you can't even see where it's at. I, I'm so blown out at the moment. This is incredible. I've never had this good of lighting. <laughs> Note to Kendra, film at one o'clock in sunlight in your studio. I normally actually have the blinds down for a more diffused look. I wonder if I should do that right now. I'm just too in love with this. So um, partners in cream, I, oops. I don't I thought I had a scale that would measure point at least out to the 100s 1 100s one and I don't have one so unless I purchase one I don't know how else to do the partners in cream I guess I'm gonna watch a few more videos and see I thought people were weighing or do they just go by uses maybe they just go by uses I could probably track that but I kind of wanted to do it by weight so then I didn't have to worry too much about um number of uses and tallying up stuff and maybe if like if i forget you know concealer this is the cover girl and we're winding down this puppy is winding down we're already like see it we're already what is this called touching the window or something i don't know what it's called i usually don't really need too much up in there because i do have really deep line up here and then a deep so it's like i don't really need any more tension but I do need to cover and conceal these. I don't know what happened, but 
I'm assuming it's what happens when I eat too much sugar because I had cake. So partners in crime, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do it because I was gonna weigh stuff and I can't weigh it. I know you gotta have like a point, 0 0.01 grams like scale that can measure out that far and I thought I had one and I don't. So I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna figure it out. We got a partners in cream project coming up. All right, next up. Um, Precision Kabuki 957 and oh wait no 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 you know what actually yeah I am I'm gonna go ahead and dab on I'm gonna do this a little differently today a little bit of this bronzer and then I'm gonna have it mix in Yeah, we, we've got some, I gotta diffuse the light here. This is getting out of control. Oh, the dog chewed this up like so bad. No! Like I don't have 10 more of these. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all in. For how much hair I'm constantly saying I don't have on my head, there's hair everywhere. It's probably why I don't have it on my head anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face cause it's like, it's already kinda drying down. Mm. Okay. This one's a little splotchy looking, but I promise it's not in real life. Like, it's not looking splotchy at all. How much of this is getting recorded? Hey, Delbert, can you quiet down there? This is my current state of life right now. Um. Glossier cloud paint in the shade Storm. You don't need that much. I don't know why I put that much out there. But anyways, this is the shade and what it looks like. Oh, wow. I got a little splotchy. I don't know why I did that that way. See this? right here looks oh I did like a blush draping oh yeah I really like this wow this is incredibly beautiful however I do need to just a little bit of blotting oh please don't move my camera let me see what this looks like up close and in person because I really like this that's really pretty. I think I am gonna go ahead and leave off. I'm just gonna use my bronzer and leave off a powder blush just because this is a very, really colorful, a little bit overtaking on the blush side. See, it's, it's a nice, it blends out with a brown undertone, which I really like, but it's very like realistic to what my skin looks like I, it's it gives me that feeling as if I almost removed some of the foundation and now I'm seeing the redness underneath my skin which is not the case but it's so lifelike it's so realistic you know what I mean so something like that is just it's almost you know a bit on the surreal side so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face now using the Delium Tools um, large powder brush 980 and also bringing down this shine just a bit with this shade right here. I feel like this is not, not like a bronzy bronze. It's more of a, just a shadowy bronze really. Almost, it could almost be like a contour shade. In the Natasha Denona Tan, I just don't know. Uh, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take this OVW brush, dipping it into, um, I believe it was Rekindle. Yeah, Rekindle, the highlighter that I chose from my Shop My Stash. And let me place a little bit of that on here. Mm, it's pretty icy. Now wipe off the brush and go into the Natasha Denona 
glow impact powder it doesn't pick up near as much like this I'm really having to like scratch the surface on and put it right down in here oh I don't know which one I want if I do a glowy look mmm I think I'm gonna have to stick with the rekindle because it's kind of that almost that blush toppery shade but I'm gonna stick to just a modified like boom right there kind of highlight see that I'm not you know bringing it all the way up like I did with the blush draping this brush is really good for that kind of see it just kind of does it it does all the work for you brought it up too far and then I just kind of pull down just a little bit to kind of pull it into the blush that's a beautiful look that is really beautiful is my texture accentuated mm. I don't feel like any more than it normally would be it's so blinding it's it has um, a very very high luminosity so yeah unfortunately it will emphasize texture but not any more than this one I don't feel like the only way you wouldn't emphasize texture is if you went back over with this like bronzy um, cream to powder type of gloss then I might get it just going in with my Merit brow gel and putting some of that in there it it does what I need it to do, but I wish it would just be a little bit more setting of a brow gel, not so like natural. I know it's a minimalist type of thing, but I feel like if it's a minimalist, it can still, I think of minimalist like you only need one product to do like two or three things. So it gives you color, defines, and then it shapes maybe or something like that. But I feel like this, in this instance, it barely shapes at all. And the definition is, you know, medium. And I would say it gives pretty good definition because it does add some color. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we are done with everything. Um, let me go ahead and just put everything back in that I have taken out and we'll just kind of run through it really quickly. Um, so I use my beauty sponge. I don't know if I showed that off or not, but I did use it. Use my concealer, cream bronzer, this highlighter. Um, I didn't have any lifting, so I will keep the prep and prime. I didn't use any of this, so I'm not sure I wanna keep that in there. And I didn't use any of my Jaclyn Hill Icicle. I feel like the MAC Tempting Fate Feast Your Eyes palette is enough. So we'll go ahead and put that back. And I think everything else got used. This is awesome, folks. Um, oh, yeah. And this did not get used either. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back as well. I was a little bit, I was a little bit concerned that this wouldn't go very far in my collection just because I did use it as um, I used it in my kit and so it, it kind of got dirty towards the end it's like hard to keep clean it just wasn't something that I reached for on my own it was something that you know it had some playful colors in it and it had some more neutral shadows and then it had like a bronzer and a highlighter if I needed to like have a quick turnaround face or if somebody was just looking for just like a brief you know little bit of color but didn't want anything that was extreme I would use something like this on them so I'm okay putting this back in for another day or another month but yeah this is kind of my monthly capsule that I'm going to continue to work on and I didn't end up using these tweezers either but I will go ahead and add some lashes to it just in case I want to you know beef up my look and put some lashes in 
so that is it for the shop my stash um yeah really actually i didn't end up using this either but i did toggle between this highlighter and then the makeup geek rekindle highlighter which i found like it was really really beautiful i'm really feeling really good about shopping my stash using what i've got and i kept thinking in my in my mind i'm enough this is enough like i've got enough you know um i did use the mac tempting fate and i only used one shadow out of this single eyeshadow collection palette so i might revisit this maybe think like hmm i'm not sure if i'm going to be putting as many special shades like there's this special shade and then there's this special shade along with Esmeray by Davina and that just might be a little bit too much as well as this glam shop and it's kind of like a shadow topper but it's really icy really really extremely icy not something that I typically reach for yeah it's kind of showing me like hmm maybe you should take a step back and use more neutrals even more neutral than that and just stick to one maybe two at most special shades but I was really really enjoying revisiting this palette didn't think I was gonna like it that much um, but I really enjoy it heavily because this shade this shade and this shade are very sparkly and very glittery dimensional shadows loving that for this uh, and I think what kind of sidetracked me from using my build your own palette was the fact that I also had the Norvina palette added in here I ended up using this shade here which went on like like it says dreamer however this shade is kind of like a satiny looking shot there's not much shimmer to it it's not as shimmery as I'm used to seeing like in Sydney Grace and even makeup geek is quite a bit more shimmery so I was kind of interested to see this rose gold and this dazzling shade are very pretty. Uh, no duochromes, no like crazy special shades or no toppers or anything like that. So yeah, these shades are a little bit, this formula is a little bit different than what I remember it. It's almost dulled down now that I've seen and experienced so many other shadows at this point. It's almost as if they're just kind of, eh, not really. You know there's not as much as as there so I'm gonna continue using this and this palette right here definitely enjoying the size of this the only thing I don't enjoy is the matte the leathery shades uh, still have to say right there not one of their better formulas I think they were trying to uh, copy off the Natasha Denona cream to powder formula and that definitely definitely didn't hit the mark just uh, unless you use your finger you're not getting any payoff so I'm not really sure. And with mattes, I don't know how you would use your finger to blend anything out mm, precisely. So anyways, this is a look. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed chopping my stash with me. And I will continue to progress at getting things organized. This is just a little bit, you know, a little bit cray cray. But thanks so much for sticking with me. We're going to organize it. Drop me a comment down below if you want to see me put the rest of this makeup up and organize it and kind of like film that whole process because then you'll see like the whole collection and stash and my thought process behind everything because many of you guys have been saying like I really kind of enjoy hearing you talk it out what you're choosing and why you're choosing it. Um, and I do enjoy talking it out because then I feel like I make the best possible decision when I can s verbalize out loud like hey I want this or that doesn't make any sense why that should be there that you know might might not work very well so let me know down in the comments below if you want to see me get completely fully organized and get like kind of a shot my sash thing set up like I did uh, my singles yeah so thanks so much for watching guys I can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye